hi YouTube it's soy sweet 99 and I am doing a video for you guys today that's been long overdue well I have a couple that are long overdue but this one is because I've been wanting to put it together for a while and um, today's video is basically about my ancestry.com results I've gotten my results year I would say I think it was 2019 that I got my results back but I never did a video to actually show you guys what my results were um but first I want to go over a little bit of what my um, background information is so you could kind of understand a little bit more when you look at my results so those of you I don't know my followers are probably familiar with um, my videos, um, the Panamanian tag that's on my channel. So my mother and father are both from Panama in Central America. Mom, dad, both from Panama, Spanish speaking. And my siblings, we speak Spanish and English. And um, my mother's parents, are one was born in Panama, the other was born in Jamaica, but they both of the so my great grandparents my paternal great grandparents are jamaican and before that i'm assuming the ones before were probably they were back and forth between panama and jamaica now on my father's side my grandparents um his parents are both from panama as well but their parents which is my paternal great grandparents are from barbados and a lot of my lineages go on that side on my paternal my father's side goes back to barbados as well and back and forth between panama and barbados so i did my ancestry um dot com test and i'm going to go over some of the results with you guys i'm going to try to do a split screen and put them on the side as i'm discussing them but i'm also going to show them to you because i have them opened up on my computer right now so i did ancestry.com and my results have updated but they pretty much have have been um, mostly the same um, let me get, they have been pretty much mostly the same but um i noticed that on ancestry.com and my heritage which i'm going to compare both of them for you they're a little different like my heritage is a little kind of more detailed and i also transferred my results too to um gedmatch Dot com and it's a little slightly different too because like so I'm gonna show you what they are on ancestry and go over I have a huge amount of African guys a huge amount so uh, let me take the camera over here with me so that you can look at my computer while I'm looking at these results okay so these are my ancestry.com results oh no I'm on the wrong one where am I okay my ancestry.com okay guys so I want to turn the camera right here so you can only see just the results while I'm going over them so my ancestry.com if you can see hopefully that's clear I think it should be so I am 33% Nigerian 23% Benin and Togo, 22% um, Ivory Coast and Ghana, 13% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples, England, and I'm 6% England and Northwestern Europe, 1% Senegal, 1% Mali, those are also in Africa, and then I'm 1% Basque, which is in Europe. So basically, if you add it all up, it breaks down to that I am 93% African and 77% European. Okay? So I'm African. <laughs> um, but then if you look at the bottom, Ancestry.com also calculates that, uh, wait, I just realized with the estimate it's not there anymore. But at the bottom, it actually usually calculates see it's not there but usually when I go into it like this at the bottom it shows that my people are from it says Panama for whatever reason they're able to to calculate and it shows that afro it says a uh, afro caribbean and it says um and then like if you're american cuz like i have a cousin that's has one parent is american it shows that he has roots in you know like the south like american down south so mine like it shows that 
all my ancestors are from the Caribbean, but his is a little bit um, different. So I'm going to show you. So that's ancestry. Now I want you to see my de my results for. Um, let me just move the camera over here a little bit. So these are my results for myheritage.com. Okay. So myheritage.com. Here's my account. I'm logged in. Is a little bit different. Um, hold on. Ethnicity estimate. They're pretty much similar, but it's different. So this is what the website looks like. Um, let me scroll back because I don't want to. Hold on. I'm clicking on the wrong thing. I want to go back to the ethnicity estimate so you guys could see. So on this site, let me bring the camera a little over here a little. Um, you could see that I am 64.5% Nigerian, which is a little bit different from what you see on Ancestry.com. And it also says that it also breaks down the regions where the Nigeria may have came from. You see, it says Jamaica. Remember, I told you I had Jamaican family. It says Jamaica and UK, Barbados, Guyana, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados. So it brings up, it can see that it and it breaks down Africa as I'm 14.3 percent Sierra Leonean. I'm 9.2 percent Kenyan and 2.6% West African. Now, as far as the Europe goes, it has me at a different percentage of European here. It has me at 5.2% um, East European, and then 4.2% um, uh, Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. So you see, it's similar, but just a little bit different. So. Uh, my heritage, actually, so I'm going to bring the camera back um, towards me so you guys can look at me again. So my heritage basically has me, at, I would say, roughly about 90% African. Ancestry has me at about at 93%. At the one thing about my heritage is they, they break down the regions to me a little more, even though Ancestry.com is supposed to be a bigger company, but I feel like my heritage breaks it down a little bit more as far as the regions. Um, so what I did was to get my results on my heritage, I just up downloaded my raw DNA data from Ancestry.com and I uploaded it on my heritage and they basically just gave me the estimates for free. There's a couple of sites that do that. I'll try to list them in the um, description area below in case any of you that took tests from one company want to upload your results to another. But um now on GEDmatch, which I, I have a lot of things open, so I'm not going to log in. I'm going to do that in a separate video. GEDmatch has me at about 85% African. Either way, I'm still, but GEDmatch, the difference is they have 2% um, West Asian in there, and they have me as um, East African as well, which I don't see on here. So it has uh, like Ethiopia and Eritrea um, in GEDmatch, like those regions. So it's like 3% or something. So I noticed that that's in North African, while Ancestry and these places don't pick up the North African in there. So um, I say that to say, you know, I, 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 I definitely feel like, like it, like when you get your results, if any of you have gotten your results back from, I was really happy actually to see mine. So I want to just say, if you've taken a test and you notice that, and I'm really looking forward to my parents taking it because I want to know, I'm curious to see what they have. Um, my great grandmother on my mother's side is Irish and Irish Jamaican. And I'm, I was aware of that before even taking the test. So I knew European would come up even if it was 10 or whatever percentage because I'm aware of on my father's side, I'm not too aware of um, any European like close by. But on my dad's side, his grandmother is um, Filipino and um, came to Barbados from the Philippines. Um, so I noticed that I did not have any um, Asian, but that doesn't mean a thing because I probably didn't inherit those genes from them. So maybe when my dad takes it, his would say it. You know, when I grew up throughout all my life, um, 
I was being told that I looked, my eye, my face was very, very flat. I looked just like my father's family where everyone looked very Asian looking on his side. I didn't have eyelids. I had the epicanthic fold. And I noticed that with adaptation and moving to different climates, my eyes, I finally got a full, like, you know, I, even though I put eyeshadow to make it show, but I finally got eyelids now and I have a nose bridge where my face was completely flat like a pancake and that is also an african feature because africans come from asians as well well asians come from africans as well so i know that those features are also african but i've had many nigerian friends that actually thought i was nigerian so i could see where the large percentage of nigeria would come from um as as well because I, I get told you know like I would be around Nigerians and let's say I don't talk or whatever they would say do I have any Nigerian background or anyone from Nigeria so I had a strange feeling that Nigeria would come out as my top um, but I do have a, also another friend who um, so this is why I tell you that um, skin tones and things like that don't have anything really to do because i know if any of you have navigated through any of these youtube videos you'll also see that people can be different tones like i have a friend who is um darker in complexion than i am and she is only about 60 percent african you know so um i don't know so i feel like um phenotype sometimes doesn't match genotype you know and you can see that in a lot of different cases and you know, they used to say the black of the berry, the sweeter the juice, or the darker the skin tone, the closer you are to Africa. No, it's not true because you could have a lighter skin tone and have a higher African percentage because Africans come in all different types of looks and and everything and um, different skin and hair textures and things like that. But I just wanted to share my results with you guys so you can see. Let me know what you think. If anyone has a high African percentage like me, that's like 90% or above, I would love to see, tag me in your video so I can see your results. I would love, 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 love to see your results. Um, and again, this is from an Afro Latina, which is what I consider myself, Panamanian. And there's another girl on here. Um, if if I can remember her name oh she was also Panamanian and her people thought her answer that her results would be like um, less African and she came back as well with um, a 93% I believe it was close to mine so that was pretty cool seeing that and we have the same genetic makeup and everything Barbados Jamaica but if you guys have any questions let me know I'll be doing my Panamanian tag video soon and I will be uploading that to my channel now that I got the Subscribe again to my channel soy uh, underscore sweet 99 and you can look me up on tiktok at soi underscore ica thank you and have a great day guys